Welcome to Ask Soup. My name is Silas Gonzalez from Reddit Middle School. Here today, my guest is Miss Melissa Dancy Smith, Executive Director for Elementary Education. Thank you for joining me today. You're welcome. All right, let's get into the questions. As the Executive Director of the Elementary Education, what is your job insist of and how long have you been doing it? I've been in this role for a year and a half. My role uh, consists of working very closely with the Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction and working with elementary principals to ensure that the teaching practices and the curriculum are aligned to the essential standards and the common core standards. Well, what is your favorite part of your job? Um, the most favorite part of my job is when I have an opportunity to get into the buildings. Um, I spend a lot of time in the elementary schools, but it's, it, it, I'm really happy when I can get into the high schools and the middle, middle schools because it helps me to see that vertical alignment and it um, affirms the work that we need to do on the elementary school level. How often do you visit the elementary schools? On a really slow week, anywhere from one to two schools a week, but on a busy week, anywhere from three to five schools a week. What is the most important thing for children learning literacy? The most important thing that children need to know in learning literacy is they should be engrossed in text from, from birth. It's important that parents speak to children and have conversations with children, even when, when, when they're infants. Um, it's also important that children just pick up a book. It can be a newspaper, it can be a menu, anything, as long as they're becoming very familiar with all different kinds of texts and all different genres of literature. What is literacy and why is it important to our everyday life? Um, literacy is simple. It's reading, writing to understand text. Um, this may sound cliche, but in Nash Rocky Mount schools, literacy is thinking, listening, speaking, writing, and, and reading because all of these are important in being a literate student. Um, it's very important that students become fluent readers and writers. Um, as it helps them to articulate themselves, as it helps them to apply knowledge. Um, in short, literacy is the foundation block in being successful in all of your content areas. What is the district doing to ensure that our students are learning literacy? Um, the district has come up with a district-wide literacy plan and it ensures that literacy transfers from the math class to the science class to the social studies class. Um, again, literacy ensures that students are critical thinkers, especially in writing. If, if, if you can write your thoughts, then what you're able to do is take the knowledge that you've learned at the recall level and apply it to um, different areas and, and also in real life experiences. Would you please explain to me the Read to Achieve initiative? Okay, we would need another show for the Read to Achieve initiative, so I will try to um, explain it. It is a part of the Excellent Public Schools Act, and it became law in July of 2012. This year is the first year of implementation in the state of North Carolina. In short, the goal of Read to Achieve is to ensure that every student is reading at or above grade level by the end of third grade in hopes that these students will continue to become fluent readers as they matriculate from secondary schools, college, and the workforce. How are you involved with that initiative? Um, with Read to Achieve, I actually became involved with that initiative last school year. Since last school year, I've joined um, the Region 3 Read to Achieve Committee. We have formed a Read to Achieve Committee within our district. We, I work very closely with principals, with parents. We've had parent workshops, so parents will be familiar with um, the new law of Read to Achieve as well. What resources are available for the students and parents to help them understand and pass the assessment? 
On our district web page, under the Parent tab, you uh, parents can access a brochure sure, that goes over uh, very brief facts about the Read to Achieve law. But in addition to that, the district has hosted parent workshops, and those parent workshops have been ongoing since January. Thank you, Ms. Nancy Smith, for joining me today. You're welcome, Silas. It has been my pleasure. My name is Silas Gonzalez with another episode of Ask Sue. Join us again.